This is Pat Solver with Dr. Ways In, and I have with me today Allison Balmer, who is the Director of International Business, which means you get to go a lot of cool places, right? Right. Yeah, for <laughs> Roche. And um, it's actually Genia Technology, a member of the Roche family. Do I have that right? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, yeah. good. And, um, and this company, Genia Technology, now with Roche, mm -hmm. is all about uh, sequencing of the genome. So um, tell us why um, the acquisition and mm -hmm. um, a little bit about the history of sequencing and the kind of changes that have been taking place. So actually, Roche has had a really interesting history with DNA sequencing because um, Roche actually had the first next-gen sequencing platform with 454 um, you know, a very long time ago. And so what we've seen is actually next-gen sequencing has evolved technologically so much that we've seen this massive improvement in cost and the cost of sequencing has driven down, you know, obviously defying Moore's law. And so what we're seeing now is this huge pull of taking the really precious information that DNA sequencing allows is really drawn into the clinic now. And so Roche was interested in Genia, um, and actually the acquisition was in June 2014, because Genia has kind of what's been termed the last gen sequencing, but it's essentially the evolution of next gen sequencing technologically. And so Genia has a platform that um, uses electrical detection. So it's a more affordable, smaller unit rather than an optical unit. And is this the sub 100 we've all been waiting for? It is. And so actually it is. And so Roche was really excited about this opportunity because, you know, Roche has a huge um, global affiliate with major clinical channels. And so what we're hoping to find is a platform that could be decentralized so that you could take DNA sequencing and really democratizing it, making it accessible for patients everywhere. Uh, so this means it might be in the hospital's clinical lab. Uh, is it also in the doctor's office? And could I buy one and have it in my house? Well, that would be very forward looking. <laughs> but yeah, that's our hope. I mean, you know, that's really the promise of personalized medicine is that, you know, you could really understand your genome in a personal way and that your clinician would be able to provide actionable information to you for that. So what we see is really an evolution that primarily DNA sequencing has lived in research and it's just provided a a huge amount of information to translational researchers, which is now moving into the clinic and oncology and in prenatal testing and some of these key applications that are pulling it into the clinic. And what we hope with Genia is that um, our platform, which is really well suited for decentralization, will be able to take a much lower cost version and in a kind of tabletop way, be able to decentralize that to your local hospital. So one of the issues that has come up, and it was actually in the Steve, Steve Jobs biography, is um, continual sequencing of my cancer mm -hmm. uh, over time. Uh, but obviously that can be prohibitively expensive right. from a diagnostic point of view, not to mention the therapeutic point of view. Um, when this ends up in every hospital, is that, do you think, one of the main applications that we'll see this being used for? Well, what's actually really interesting, kind of tying that all together, is we're now, the industry's looking at this application in prenatal testing and saying, you know, we can actually w look at blood from the mother and find fetal DNA information. Well, we think about applying that to oncology and saying, you know, typically tissue-based diseases like cancer, um, you don't want to have to go in the healthcare economics and the impact to the patient around biopsying and continuing to biopsy the same tumor over the life of a therapy is cost prohibitive and, and it's painful to the patient. And so now what we're hoping is that with our greater understanding of the capabilities of cell-free DNA and being able to look at a patient's blood, um, especially in oncology, it will give us that information to monitor therapeutic response and the changes in the biology of a cancer over the life of a therapy. And so we're seeing this as really powerful. So actually, um, this is one of our going to be one of our big focuses. And I think the whole industry is, you know, how can we use DNA and the information that next-gen sequencing provides in um, clinical samples such as cell-free DNA that we would get from blood. 
So that being said, um, how close is the Genia technology to being out there ready to go into the clinic? So the technology itself has um, some really significant advantages over kind of the current state of art, but we're in development and um, so we're, you know, we've developed the when Roche acquired the company, it was, you know, the process and the, the product concept had been established. So now actually what's really cool is having Roche's support and really being part of the Roche family. We're being resourced really heavily. We're getting a lot of like medical influence and really painting out a core strategy. So we're hoping to be competing in the clinic really in, in the near to midterm. Uh, one year, two year, ten year? <laughs> Somewhere between two and ten years. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah, we're really wanting to give our technology a chance to prove itself to have clinical utility because this is the type of technology with electrical detection where we're using single molecule detection. This is going to give us certain capabilities that um, don't exist today. So the next gen sequencing community hasn't had access to this sort of chemistry. Well, uh, fantastic. So um, we don't know yet if it's going to be last gen, but it certainly sounds, sounds like it's going to be a major step forward in the, yeah. in the series of next gen. So I really want to thank you very much for joining us today and for sharing the Genia part of the Roche family story. Great. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.